Today's math strategy video is on understanding properties of two-dimensional figures. So in the previous lesson, we classified the family of quadrilaterals based on their characteristics. Today's lesson will focus on classifying triangles by their sides and angles. On the right, we have triangles grouped by their sides. So a scalene triangle has no sides equal. So all sides are different. An equilateral triangle will have all sides congruent. And an isosceles triangle will have two sides congruent. Now, on the left, we have triangles grouped by their angles. An acute triangle will have all angles less than 90 degrees. That means all of them, not just one, but all. Um, an obtuse triangle. Obtuse triangle will have at least one angle greater than 90 degrees. A right triangle will have exactly one angle equal to 90 degrees. Now let's apply what we just learned. So when I think about, um, you know, creating a hierarchy, so remember before we did a hierarchy with our quadrilaterals, we're going to do the same thing with triangles. So. I've got to really think down here what triangles have what in common. So something here would uh, would have several things would have something in common with three different other types of triangles. So we're going to do is we're going to group this top. We're going to group them by their angles. So when I think about what others would have in common, even when I look back on this page, I notice something about all these triangles. They all, even an obtuse triangle has an acute angle and so does a right. So acute angles are pretty popular. So an equilateral will definitely just be acute, but then an isosceles could also have an acute angle and a scalene as well. So I know that these three, all three types of these triangles can have acute angles. Now, when I think about a right angle, can a right angle be an, be an isosceles or be it, what it cannot be is it cannot be an equilateral. So it can be an isosceles. I guess if I drew it, this would be 90 degrees and then this would be, so these two sides would be the same. Also, these three sides are completely different. So a right angle can be an isosceles, it can be a scaling, but it cannot be an equilateral. It can't have all sides the same. So that leaves me with obtuse. So an obtuse triangle can be an isosceles um, because I can have this, right, you know, I can have, Imagine these two sides, but this is an obtuse angle. They're equal, so it can be an isosceles. Um, and then it can also be a scalene. I can have all four of these sides, or all three of these sides, rather, sorry, um, could be different. So, um, and then an acute can be all of these. So we can see kind of how they're related. And this um, graphic organizer here kind of explains it too. An equilateral can be... Um, encompasses all the exact same qualities of an isosceles because an equilateral has at least, it has three sides equal. So an isosceles, you have to at least have two sides equal. So it meets that definition. It's also an acute angle as well. Acute angles can be isosceles equilateral, or they can just be, um, just have one, you know, they can just be an acute by itself. Um, obtuse, can be an isosceles like we showed right here it can have one side that or one angle that is larger than 90 with two sides that are the same um a right like we said here it can be 
It can be an isosceles, like here. Um, and then it can also just be a right with and have no sides that are the same. So let's use what we've learned here and let's fill in the blanks here. So it says an equilateral triangle, and this would be always, never, or sometime. So an equilateral triangle blank has all the properties of an isosceles. Well, we saw that right here, it always will. Because it has three sides and to be an isosceles, you just have to have two sides that are the same. A right triangle blank shares properties with an isosceles. Well, this will be sometimes, like right here. It could also be a scaling triangle as well. Um, a right triangle blank shares properties with an obtuse, never. A right triangle must have, the definition of that a right triangle is that it must have one side that has a 90 degrees. And the definition of an obtuse triangle is that it must have one angle greater than 90 degrees. And that just can't be possible. So that is the end of today's math strategy video.